Hey everybody. Ever since I've been in this hobby, I have been told and I have firmly believed that if you take the biomedia from one tank and you simply swish it around in the water of a brand new tank, you will put enough nitrifying bacteria in the new tank that you will not necessarily instantly establish a cycle but you will very very rapidly establish a cycle and you'll be able to get a tank up and running in a matter of days rather than weeks by doing it the natural way so today we're going to do an experiment I've tried this in the past and when I tested it I didn't get the results I was expecting and so we're going to do it a little more formally today and see what we get this is a brand new tank I've sterilized everything I just finished a hydrogen peroxide treatment I've rinsed the tank out a few times so we're now with brand new fresh clean water we have a brand new filter that has no biomedia in it at all it does have the bio sponge but there is no growth on it it's a brand new fresh sponge for all intents and purposes and we have just taken a initial measurement of zero ammonia and zero nitrite so what we're going to do now is add some of Dr. Tim's ammonium chloride solution and that is going to give us some ammonia in the water and we're going to find out whether or not we can start addressing that ammonia almost immediately. So I tried to measure out 20 drops, but it came out of the bottle a little fast. So this is probably a little more than 20 drops. And if you notice that little bluish tinge in there, that is from a prior nitrite test. That is not the ammonia solution. That is just a weird blue tint that just won't get out of this vial. So this is the ammonium chloride. We're going to pour that little tiny bit in there let that mix around for a few minutes I'm then going to take an ammonia test and see what we get we're sitting at zero right now or at least we were a moment ago make sure I get this vial nice and fully rinsed out I will then go rinse it m more thoroughly in the uh, sink before I come back and take a sample so let's let that circulate for a few minutes we'll come back we'll take a sample see where we're sitting with ammonia and then we will dump a bunch of bacteria in the tank all right, so we are right where we want to be with the ammonia. We are at a solid one part per million that might even be pushing towards two parts per million, but that's where I want to be. I don't want to have a ton of ammonia in the tank, but I do want to have a very noticeable amount because we need something for the new bacteria to work on. So right now we still have no nitrite in the tank, and once we start establishing a nitrogen cycle we will begin to see the ammonia go down and the nitrite will start to come up so now we've got to artificially spike the tank with bacteria and I just wanted to show you this is the brand new filter there's bio sponge there's nothing on it and we don't even have any kind of filter at all in there right now we're just going to go ahead and let that bio sponge catch everything and what we're going to do is well first thing we're going to do is set that vial down and then we are going to pilfer a little bit of actually we're going to pilfer a whole lot of this So that, in theory, should give us all of the bacteria we need to deal with that little bit of ammonia that's in the tank. Now, not all of that bacteria is going to establish. Some of it is just going to die off. Some of it will oxidize the ammonia that's freely swirling around the water column. But a lot of that, ideally, will get trapped in the substrate and we'll get trapped in the biomedia and we'll more or less get this tank cycled in within a matter of hours uh, or at the worst a matter of a couple of days rather than again the weeks it would take to let the tank cycle naturally so we're going to come back in about 12 hours and check and see what we got going on see whether or not we've got an accumulation of nitrite and we'll go from there so sit tight and we'll see what happens all right everybody we are now about 36 hours in 
and I'm actually starting to see some results. I checked after about 18 hours, and all I checked for was the nitrite, and I didn't see any. So I waited a day. It's now the following morning, so it's been about 36 hours now. And I checked the nitrite again, and I still did not see any, and that got me scratching my head. So I checked both the ammonia and the nitrate, and I got some fairly interesting results. So let's go over and have a look at the test vials. All right, so the first thing I did was check for the nitrite, and I got none. It's still that nice sky blue, pale blue color, and that indicates no nitrite. So after 36 hours, I thought there's got to be some development of nitrite or something. So I checked the ammonia, and while we do still have ammonia, it is definitely less than it was when we started. That is not as dark green as the original vial. That looks like it's about half of what it used to be. It's a little bit lower than 1%, or 1 part per million rather, not 1%, but 1 part per million. And that is a reduction in ammonia. But why do we not have any nitrite? And then when I tested the nitrate, we actually got a fairly significant amount of nitrate. And just to double check to make sure that wasn't a bad test result, I checked my tap water. And that is my tap water. So we don't have any nitrate coming in in the tap water. Yet we've got that much nitrate developed in the tank. And we have a reduction of ammonia yet we've got no buildup of nitrite and that had me scratching my head for a few minutes until I thought about it when I added that bacteria not only did I add the ammonia oxidizing bacteria I also added the nitrite oxidizing bacteria so whatever amount of bacteria in there has been dealing with the ammonia and converting the ammonia into nitrite there's equally enough bacteria in there to immediately deal with that small amount of nitrite and almost instantly convert it right into the nitrate and that's why I believe we're not seeing any development of the nitrite. It's going from ammonia, it's being oxidized into nitrite, it's then immediately being oxidized from nitrite into nitrate and we're actually seeing a buildup of the nitrate and again this is my tap water so we know that we're not getting any nitrates from the tap. This has to be coming from the tank and the nitrogen cycle. So even though this nitrite test is still not showing any results, I have to say we're actually getting through the cycle at this point. So I'm going to keep my eye on the tank. We'll come back and check it again in 24 more hours, and we'll see if this ammonia level hasn't gone down to zero. But that's going to be it for this video. I'm going to say thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe. You don't want to miss any of the follow-ups that are coming up with this video. But we definitely do have some positive results, and so I've definitely confirmed that swishing a filter around in your tank will definitely boost your nitrogen cycle and speed up the process and hopefully within a couple of days uh, you will have your tank fully cycled and ready to start putting some fish in it so again thanks for watching make sure you're subscribed you don't want to miss anything i got coming up see you real soon on the next one